because you don't even have any clue of how much I've learned from you guys. Well, I think it's even more than you learn from me, okay? Because you guys have to understand that in all these little circumstances, teaching these techniques, it's not like I come in and I say, I'm gonna just teach it this way, okay? It's this constant flexibility to adjust to the issues that you guys are having. And one thing that I learned just now from this, because this is incredibly effective, okay? If you do it correctly, I don't care whether I have the lapel with the, with the arm or not, okay? That when you feed this lapel, you wanna control the hips. Because your objective is to move the hip to the right as you walk to the left. Your right knee should jam their right hip so that you're preventing them from centering their hips again, okay? This is very important. So when you pass this lapel, you have to think of how do I control his waistline, hip line, not his chest. The objective isn't to wrap the lapel and just have it wrapped around the chest. It's to use this as leverage in order to rotate his hips out and turn them on the side. If you wrap it right here and your arm is here, they're potentially gonna get an overhook, but it's not even that they get an overhook. You don't have an effective mechanism to pull their uh, body across, okay? So as I'm here, and he breaks my posture, let's say, right here. Yeah. See where my elbow is, okay? I'm gonna tripod up, okay? From here, I'm giving him the business with the shoulders. But I'm not going to feed it like this right here, okay? Because it's across his back. I want to feed it like this. Bring my elbow to my knee and feed it down here, okay? Because now I control more of his hip. As now I'm going to rotate him to the right. My left hand is on his right hip. And my right hand is pulling this way, okay? And my knee is also pushing. So as I rotate him, to the right, I'm gonna hop to the left. That's just me block, so he doesn't rotate. From here, I put weight left, and I jam this, and I widen my base. From here, I can push his knee down, and I can drive my knee over and turn him to the side, and step over from the north side, okay? But also what I'm doing is I'm denying him the ability to get an overhook. And I'm controlling more of his hip, okay? You can do this also with the hand. Look, I can put it here, and I can grab his wrist right here. Now the question is, where's my elbow should be? It's gonna be tight here, but if it's here, he can reach that and grab my collar, and then it's gonna be hard for me to get across. If he lets go here, my elbow's here, okay? Trying to get the elbow it's gonna be hard, because I'll beat him to it here. I just don't wanna pull his shoulder because I have his arm. You can do this with the arm, you can do this with the lapel. But here, with the lapel, think of keeping your elbow connected to your inner thigh, because my knees are pitching his hips, because my knees are gonna also help rotate him to the right as my left hand pushes him, so I'm gonna do it from this side. This is no, this is no arm. I couldn't get the arm trapped one here. Look, see how wide my knees are? My elbow is by my inner thigh. He's not getting any overhook. Right here. As I go here, look, one, two, and three. And feet are wide. This is on one motion. Okay? You can do it on that side. Put it that way. Watch what I'm doing with my knees. I'm moving him to the right. This is pulling, and it's all moving him this way as I walk to the left while I pull him to the right. I'm here. Here, look, look. Knees, arm, and hand hip. And everything all together. Look, I'm pinching one, two, and three. And this now drives to his hip so I can go to right back and back flatten him out. If his right hand goes in front of my head, left hand goes in front of my head, and the, end, and the right hand right there, I can go. And again, you hear, go to the fist, okay? 
Try it. One, two, three. Your right elbow, right here. You're going to be up right here. And you're feeding it across the hip line. 